The Spectre 1882 is the spookiest gun in the bayou because it is perfect for making ghosts of your enemies. The disappearing bullets are a nice touch too. Let's talk hard stats. The Spectre 1882 is a pump action shotgun. It costs $188 and it unlocks at rank 36. It has three variants, the full version, the bayonet, and the compact. The most noticeable difference between the variants is the spread of their pellets, and that is reflected in the damage statistic. Damage for weapons is the amount of expected damage to the torso at 10 meters. So the base model does 185, the bayonet does 175, and the compact does 85. That doesn't mean each version does different damage. Up close, they are all fully capable of one-shot kills. But each version has slightly more bullet spread, meaning less damage at range unless you get super lucky with the RNG. The two main other differences are that the bayonet has a melee attack that does 168 damage, which can one-tap enemies, and the compact holds one less shell. The base Spectre's pellet spread is most similar to the Romero, though the Spectre doesn't have quite the same damage over range. I did a quick comparison between the Spectre variants and the Romero up close, and as you can see, the difference is negligible. At range is where you start to see the pellets spread out more. Obviously, the base version has the tightest grouping, and the compact version spreads the most. So now you understand the different variants, so let's talk about the add-ons. The Spectre has four special ammo options, Dragon Breath, Flechette, Penny Shot, and Slug. Dragon Breath shoots flaming ammo and lights enemies on fire. Flechette ammo shoots darts that can cause heavy bleeding damage. Penny Shot shoots coins that do more damage than pellets, but it has a more erratic spread. And the Slug fires one projectile that does high damage over range, but obviously you don't get the barrage of the other ammo. The special ammo can give you some variety for your gameplay, but the base shotgun has an excellent price per performance. The Dragon's Breath is really satisfying for lighting people on fire, and the Penny Shot sounds amazing with great damage. I would probably skip on the Flechette and Slugs because it just isn't as effective as the base ammo. The Spectre can benefit from three traits, Bullet Grubber, Iron Devastator, and Quartermaster if you are taking the compact version. Most people will probably want Bullet Grubber just to keep from losing ammo, but if you consider that each shell can be a one-shot kill in its ideal range, the Spectre is still very effective without it. Iron Devastator is there, but I'm not really sure who it's for. Maybe if you are trying to snipe with slugs, but the sights really aren't ideal for that. And there's that damned ejector that just gets in the way. And then there's Quartermaster, which allows you to take the compact version as a secondary. Also, Quartermaster can allow you to take two Spectres, which, by my math, is double the power. So, why not? So maybe you're thinking, all that sounds great, Hunter, but what are the cons? Well, you understand all the options and differences, but now it's time to consider the great beyond. No, really. A name like Spectre is probably going to make you feel a little existential. It's okay, don't worry, we can prepare for this. But first, you need to ask yourself, do I really want to carry around a gun that is a constant reminder of the question, what happens when we die? No, we are not doing that. Range. You should worry about range. Okay, well you can make smart loadout choices that dampen the drawbacks. The best secondary option for the Spectre is to bring a medium or long ammo pistol. The Pax, the Scottfield, and the Uppercut are all good choices given their damage over range. I often found myself tagging people with the pistol first, then pushing in while they healed to finish them off with the shotgun. It just works. Also, the ammo reload situation is a little weird. Without Bullet Grubber, you'll be losing shells everywhere, and the reload animation on the Spectre takes some getting used to. You have to approach every fight knowing you're a one-pump chump. Did I use that right? But if you are a semi-accurate and strategic player, you shouldn't have too much difficulty with those. So some final thoughts. If you've seen my other gun videos, you might have noticed I normally kind of punish myself making these things but that is simply not the case for the Spectre. This gun has been really easy to learn and fun to use. My biggest takeaway is this shotgun is not like other girls. The Spectre might be the best mixed use shotgun in the game, and I don't say that lightly. Sure, the Caldwell and the Crown and King shoot faster, and the Romero holds its damage over range better, but the Spectre has enough oomph for medium range engagements and carries five one-shot kill opportunities to help you clear a room. All that to say, 
If you play it smart and keep engagements close, the Spectre will serve you well. And if used properly, you just might leave a haunting impression on your enemies. Oh my god, you just saved my life. 